What's up, y'all? It's me, Nikki. Turian Goddess coming in with a quick message. Y'all already know what I'm coming to do. I'm coming to get you hip to what you hip to or hip you on to what may be hidden. You know I'm coming with the actual factuals. I'm hearing something about someone needing to think long and hard about what relationships they should be letting go. What relationships that they should be letting go. Those relationships that you know, feel like they are um, hindering us from moving forward into um, a, a prosperous, abundant, positive future, those who are just holding us back. Um, I'm not hearing anything about anything physical, like, um, you know, these relationships resulting in any sort of combat, but I am hearing that they, they disturb your spirit. They disturb your spirit. They kind of have you going backwards. Someone that you are not anymore is what I'm hearing. Some Picking up traits from yesteryears. Picking up traits from yesteryears. I'm also hearing that someone um, is going through a health spell. This health spell, I'm hearing though has to do with a feminine who may have um, miscarried or has some complications with, I'm, he I'm hearing a surgery, a surgery. Oh yeah, look, baby. Someone is also pregnant. Someone could be pregnant and someone could be having some complications with the pregnancy is what I'm hearing. Mm-hmm. Someone can be having some complications. There's someone who needs to make a doctor appointment or on their way to the doctor. I heard relapse. Wow, y'all. I send my love to whoever may be going through those health issues. Um, there's, there's something that Spirit's been trying to tell you. Spirit has been trying to uh, tell you something about your health, your state of mind, living a fresh, a, a fresh, a fresh life, huh? But a stress-free life is what I was going to say. Fresh. I don't know what that is. Fresh, 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 fresh. But a stress-free life. There's some people who you should think about. Wow leaving in 2022 because these people have not I, well hmm. these people aren't supposed to go with you into the next season regardless of if it's you know the end of a year I'm hearing this the end of an era the end of an era I've been hearing a lot of, of patterns here lately. Um, I don't know if that has to do with clothing as well, but patterns that the collective has been experiencing. It's like from, from one group to the next group over a, you know, a long time span from one group, set of a group of people to the next, to the next, it's been a pattern. I'm hearing all of these people have been, um, very emotional, um, always got something going on in their life to where they're arguing with multiple people. Um, they into it with a lot of people, uh, from health issues to health issues. I'm hearing, um, has a lot to do with emotional issues and anxiety. There's been a, a hell of a lot of, um, stress just with, it could be family members. It could be friends. It could be the same um, set of jobs. Um, and it's it's time for it's time for a DNA activation. It's time for a DNA activation. It's time for an upgrade. It's I'm here right now. Your it's a lot that's going on with you and your stomach. We saw that baby, but it's a lot that's churning. I don't know if 
a lot that's churning. Yes, somebody got um bubble guts too. It's a lot that's churning, but it's 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 need, it's want. Uh, it, it's not really so much. Um, I'm not hearing anything romantic. Somebody's just focused. They 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 are focused on what's around them a little bit too much right now, where they're at, and they're also focused on getting some things set straight instead of zigzagging, zigzagging back and forth. Um, to the same people. These people have not grown. Somebody has gone through a, a, a soul's awakening too. Yeah, somebody's going through a soul awakening. I'm also hearing that that most high God and your angels and the universe um are is making it clear that stepping forward into your new season, this is your new cycle. That, that the road is already paved for you to where, you know, there won't be any stop signs, any caution signs. And those caution signs you are going to be immediately aware of. I'm hearing just, you know, it's going to be human nature. For one, you know, human nature and from what it is that you have experienced along your journey, but also with you um, being more spiritually aware. And being spiritually aware... The Jesus saying, take a look at the people that you're connected to. Not all of them. Just the ones who who is causing you some um, mental health issues. You know, not literally I'm hearing, you know, but just getting on your nerves is what I'm hearing. That's spirit. Splurging. You also got some gifts coming. You also got some gifts coming. This This is a new level for you. This is a new level. For the collective, period, point and blank. Uh, it's it's a lot been going on, I heard, this year. A lot that's been going on, yep, to where you weren't able to get your footing. You know, you it's, it's, it's a need for you to make your point, too, right? But point, I'm hearing point made should, whatever, your travel, your, the distance. The distance that you've gone in these relationships, for one, but... Somebody has been traveling. Somebody's been traveling. And like I said, it's been a pattern with everybody that you jig with. Anybody that you connect with or you were connected with. You maybe have been, you know, reconnecting with some folk. And you like, where is the love for real? People, these people haven't changed either. It's that you just recognize and analyze and realize who in the bleep they are right now. You know, they're disturbing these high vibrations. You know, y'all not on the same wavelength. You may have a lot of love for these people, but y'all not on the same wavelength. These people messing with, you know, I, I heard they messing with your intentions, with your manifestations. You hear me? It's a destined new level for you. Period. Point blank. You know, and I just heard that you uh, these, these people that you may have reconnected with, people that you've been dealing with for years, or some folk that you just met, they're all a part of a, they may be damn well a part of the same soul tribe, but they are still stuck in a karmic or karmic cycles. Karmic cycles. These people are comfortable traveling in their south node. These are people who are always repeating the same things, doing the same shit, saying the same shit, and thinking that they're supposed to get different results. And then Jesus said, no, no. Yeah, you got some money coming to, to where you may want to splurge. The Jesus said, no. It's a bonus, though, for you. It's a bonus, though, for you, collective. You hear, hey, soul gang, it's a bonus for you. Because not only, you know, you may be uh getting some bonus pay. I'm hearing um employee appreciation. Also a bonus for getting um someone hired. Some commission money. Some money that's just going to just, it seems like it's going to pop up out of thin air. You might find it in an old pair of jeans or something. You know what I'm saying? Stuck in one of your old Harachis, the old shoe, old shoe box. Go on and look, go on and look. But, you know, mm-hmm, look, karmic act activity karmic activity you ain't on karmic time 
you're not on karmic time and I'm 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 hearing it's it's all about these people's energy too. Folk worried about your successes more than theirs. Grown folk worrying too much about grown folk business and thinking like children and therefore they're acting like children. It's something also that spirit has been nudging you. You may have been having some downloads. You may have even dreamed about it. You know, you it may have correlated with that angel number and you looked it up. Whatever it is that, that you are talented doing, I see you being very successful. Very successful. Something you're just realizing as well. Something that you are just realizing. Look, yeah, there, that's your clue. You, you just now paying attention to who these people or who this person is. Although there have been some times that can be cherished and are, are near and dear to your heart. You know, y'all could have had, you know, some low times as well. But that's not matter in the past. You're talking about present. You're speaking on futuristic goals that is is vibing on 10,000 Hurts around these parts. Around these parts, these people are messing with your vibe, bitch. Don't kill my vibe, bitch. Don't kill my vibe. Shit. So this new level, right? I told you, you got a bonus. It's gonna be in love, and it's gonna be with some increase in your financial. Situ I saw a situation in your financial awareness, so you could be learning how to budget better. You know what I'm saying? You somebody could be uh, an accountant or show sure enough about to be counting a lot of money. You hear me? Show sure enough about to be counting a lot of money. The G said, "You this is a gift from your heavenly Father." Announcement. Welcome in this unusual gift that's coming to you in the form of money. It's. I'm also hearing not only are you your pockets going to be healed, but you're going to have a new outlook on love and you're going to have a a new a new god dang on spiritual awareness and most high going to let you know who he is because I'm hearing something about it's it's not only is it going to be a beautiful moment it's going to be a moment that you're going to write down and one that you're going to talk about all the time. You're going to talk about this moment all the time. See, where you are, I'm hearing, it's, it's always some old talk. And this old talk is negative, trying to throw you back into a, a energy or step you back into a, a being a karmic, you know, and, and attached to karmics on a regular basis. And, you know, one a karmic, two a karmic. Make you a, a, a damn stupid a karmic. Mm -hmm. Make you a damn stupid a karmic is what the G's is saying. And that's how you feel. You feel like you you going you going in reverse. Don't reverse. That's a garbage can. You know, reversing is going back to some steel garbage. Steel garbage. Them them garbage cans was hard to fuck up. These flimsy ass garbage cans we got now, not the not the city ones. You you y'all remember the ones before the city ones? I'm giving you a picture here. The handles always falling off. These people trying to handle you too. These people trying to handle you too. It's something too with about about your spiritual talents. It's something about your spiritual talents. Something being healed within you as well. Something being healed within you. I heard upgrade directly, directly took from the heaven to the earth to you because of your obedience, your patience. I feel as though a lot of these um, connections throughout the year has brought you, um, tried to harden your heart. Try to harden your heart is what I'm hearing. Look, the G said, look, they be having me right, y'all. You intuitive. Don't lie about it. And and it's people around you who lie too much. And they may be rubbing off on you. It's, uh, you. You can't have a lying heart. You can't 
You can't lie about nothing. <clears throat> That's not going to help you when you know it. It's a thing called karma. And then who want to who wanna take the time to lie when you feel so much better when you're keeping it absolutely gangster? You hear me? When you're keeping it 1,000. It's a karmic connection that you are in right now. A karmic connection. Too much karmic activity. Too much backstabbing behavior. No one wants to heal. Everybody, um, I'm hearing, you know, it, it, it can be a, a handful of them around you who are financially strapped and always got their hands out for you. And I heard you all, you try, you always, yeah, you, you grease their palms. You grease their palms. And the G said, help, 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 help. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, I said, help. I don't know who these people are. You got to recognize, analyze, and realize that this cycle is coming to an end. It's, it's, it needs to. It needs to. You got cheaters being exposed. You got a lot going on. A lot going on. And I heard this isn't your mess. This isn't e even how you... Jig, this is not what you do. These are not the type of connections that you seek out. These are not the kind of connections that you seek out. And I'm here, there's been a lot of boundaries that's been crossed. A lot of boundaries crossed. Somebody think they smart about how they, um, how they're disrespecting you behind your back though. Mm, look, disrespecting you behind your back. Something that had to do with, I don't know, someone is biracial is what I heard. Someone is biracial. I'm hearing something about someone's health. I'm hearing something about someone's health. I, I said something about someone's health. Um, yeah, um. These blessings coming straight to you from the heavens. Coming straight to you from the heavens. And it's 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 on its way. It's on its way. You're on the brink of discovering this opportunity. And this opportunity is being ushered in by spirit. Coming straight from your spiritual team. Most high told them to uh bring this to you. And and you, with your successfully um manifesting this and co-creating. You know, being patient with yourself. You've been patient with these people too. You've been patient with these people as well. Very immature bunch of um adults is what I heard. Something about what you're trying to secure. And somebody trying to be an authoritative figure over you is what I'm hearing. Yeah, trying to be a look, trying to be an authority figure over you. This person is very judgmental. This person has been going through some type of karmic cycle that they can't let go. They trying to pull you back down to karmic land is what I'm hearing. 